cultural heritage, that is one of the most important components of your work. You know, Madam Minister, here in China, people have been wondering what exactly our culture was like and which part to protect. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have tremendous respect for the great history and heritage uh, of, of China. In Canada, um, culture is extremely important and for government it's extremely important. And this is why we reinvested uh, the most important budget in uh, preserving and promoting our culture uh, and the biggest um, uh, budget in 30 years in, our, in, in the last year. And we see culture in two different ways. Um, it's part, of course, of uh, preserving social cohesion mm -hmm. within Canada and in the context of our 150th anniversary, uh, which is this year, 2017, uh, we're extremely proud to have been doing these investments. And also, we see that as an economic driver. We are extremely strong in Canada when it comes our, to our creative industries mm -hmm. and uh, promoting uh, economically um, the potential of our creative industries is part of our innovation agenda and our growth. The creative art here in China is also booming. This time you also visited 798, yes. which is a, a mushrooming Chinese <laughs> art community. Yes. Uh, but there has always been the issue of commercialization of art mm -hmm. and the development of art itself. Yes. From Canada, what do you make of these two branches mm -hmm. of the art industry, quote unquote? Well, for Canada, the most important thing right now is to make sure that our country has the possibility to continue to support and promote our Canadian content, mm -hmm. um, maybe in film, music, books, uh, visual arts, um, virtual reality, so in a wide of um, sectors in, in the arts field. Mm -hmm. um, it is important because we're facing some challenges because of the digital age, mm -hmm. because of the means of distributions that are changing, mm -hmm. and uh, because also the technology has uh, evolved in a way that our citizens are consuming information and uh, entertainment in a different way. So uh, this is why, as uh, the Minister of Canadian Heritage in charge of culture, um, it's extremely important that we reinvest in arts and culture, but also that uh, we work with different uh, governments, including the Chinese government, to make sure that we can uh, further our cooperation, to make sure that Canadian artists have access to new markets, and that we can also open our markets mm. uh, to other countries in order uh, for them to have access uh, to um, to our own population and and the evolution of their own tastes. Madam Minister, you know there has been so much debate about globalization, deglobalization over the past few years, given mm -hmm. some of the blank, black swan events we witnessed recently. Mm -hmm. Some say globalization tend to make our culture much more similar to what one another, which they say is not necessarily the best direction. Mm -hmm. Others suggest the deglobalization trend that we're witnessing today tend to also uh, minimize the aspirations of cultures among countries. Mm -hmm. Which position would you take? Mm -hmm. Well, for Canada, cultural diversity has always been an important aspect of our social contract. It has always been um, an important, uh, we've been a leader in this discussion internationally speaking. And uh, this is why we reinvested in UNESCO, as I was saying. Um, but also, uh, we believe that, as I said, diversity is a strength. Uh, we believe in multilateralism. We believe in being open to other cultures. Mm -hmm. The reality is many of our citizens have different cultures. Um, and at the same time, we want to make sure that uh, while there's an evolution in the digital world of the means of distribution, that uh, our own voices are heard mm -hmm. and that globalization has a positive impact on our content creators and uh, on our creative entrepreneurs. Mm. Talking about the creative industry and mm -hmm. the arts, uh, we've seen contemporary art scenes mm -hmm. uh, booming mm -hmm. over the past uh, mm -hmm. a few decades. Um, from Canada, how much voice do you think you are having in the overall world contemporary art scene? 
It's interesting. Your, 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 your question is interesting because it gives me the opportunity to talk to you about the untold story of Canada. Looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> because Canada is the third biggest exporter of musical talent in the world. Oh my God. It goes to Drake, to, uh, of course, uh, uh, The Weeknd, Justin Bieber, Celine Dion, all these important uh, musical talents that are known throughout the world. Uh, when it comes to video games, actually uh, FIFA soccer, for example, with, which is one of the do most... You play them? <laughs> I have some of you know, my team members that do. Um, some of the titles that are the most popular in the world were the, uh, also the third biggest um, um, center for film production in North America mm -hmm. after uh, Los Angeles and uh, LA. Uh, and New York, and also we are leading the way when it comes to virtual reality, mm -hmm. which is a field that is very interesting and evolving. And so um, this, I think, should be better known, um, and certainly it's my job as Minister of Culture of Canada to promote uh, Canada's brand and, uh, and creative industries. And I'm very pleased to say that we've been having a very uh, warm welcome and a lot of openness on the part of the uh, Chinese community. You are doing that part exactly right now. <laughs> <laughs> Given the rich both heritage and the realities in terms of creative arts and heritage, how can Canada, as you say, be able to tell the untold stories. 2017 is our year. Mm -hmm. It's our 150th anniversary. We've been named the top destination by numerous uh, travel magazines, uh, from Lonely Planet to Traveler's Guide. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that people from throughout the world seize the opportunity this year to come and visit Canada and uh, for Chinese people also to come visit some of their friends and families that live in Canada. Um, and uh, we believe in the importance of di diplomacy. Mm -hmm. As I said, we believe in the importance of being involved in multilateralism and uh, different organizations. On the culture part, uh, we believe of, uh, uh, of investing in UNESCO mm -hmm. and we'll make sure that uh, we partner with uh, ministers of culture of this world to promote culture and to bridge uh, cultures uh, to make sure that we can help a better un understanding mm. uh, of one another and to have a peaceful world. The Chinese acrobatics, I heard, mm -hmm. which is an important part of Chinese traditional art, mm -hmm. extremely popular mm -hmm. in Canada. Mm -hmm. There's even a joint venture in a way mm -hmm. about that performance. Tell me about that. Well, you're referring to Cirque du Soleil yeah. and, and, and many other actually uh, performing arts companies that are present here in China that are Canadian, maybe Cavalia and also Cirque Edouard and others. Um, and we're, this is just a perfect example of the great uh, culture uh, partnership between China and Canada. And Cirque du Soleil is headquartered in Montreal in Canada and is uh, present throughout the world, very successful in the US and here in China. Mm. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to see these types of joint ventures happening and I really hope that by furthering the collaboration between China and Canada, we can see more of these partnerships happening. Have you seen some of their performances? Oh, many times, <laughs> many, many times. Was and it I, I hope, <laughs> exciting? I really hope that all your viewers uh, have the chance to, to see their performances mm -hmm. because they're completely astonishing. Absolutely. But you know, some say traditional culture, now when we see it today, probably is only a small facet among all of the beautiful aspects it used to have, including acrobatics. Mm -hmm. And they also say probably traditional Chinese culture, when looking from outside, it's very different from what it exactly is. What do you make of these kinds of uh, challenging questions? Mm -hmm. Well, um, of course, we're um, in Canada, we uh, value different heritages of, of our own citizens. We mm -hmm. have 1.5 million uh, Canadians of Chinese descent, mm -hmm. uh, so we are in contact with the culture. Um, I had personally the chance 20 years ago to get to know China. I was fortunate enough that my parents gave me the privilege at the time to go through uh, China from, from Beijing to Xi'an to oh Chongqing, uh, Shanghai, Guilin. And so... Um, that was really, a long trip. That was a long trip. How long that was, was it? <laughs> yeah. A month. Oh, wow. And, um, and it opened my eyes to uh, the beautiful heritage and, and also to the, the different cultures of the world. 
And uh, in Canada, we value uh, cultural diversity. We think that diversity is our strength. Mm. And um, of course, uh, we, we think that uh, by valuing our important Chinese diaspora, uh, by making, making sure that we have a stronger relationship with China, mm. that we can benefit uh, both countries from this collaboration. You know, one thing is the royal palace, such as the Palace Museum. The other things are the social uh, fabrics, as you mentioned, very important earlier. Mm -hmm. How to protect that part of the culture is seeming to be more challenging than mm -hmm. just the royal palace themselves. On that point, from your society, do you have any inspirations to share with us? Uh, as a country that believes in multilateralism, mm. uh, we are committed to have a strong presence at UNESCO and uh, to also respect the conventions of UNESCO when it comes to uh, cultural heritage, cultural heritage protection. Mm. Um, in that context, uh, I had the chance also to uh, give back to the uh, Chinese government some important artifacts uh, that are uh, of uh, Chinese origin that were uh, uh, stolen from China and that were in Canada. Mm. And so uh, it shows our commitment to a corporation collaboration with mm. China, but also uh, it shows their commitment to the obligations that we have under UNESCO uh, agreements mm. to uh, make sure that illicit property is being given back yeah. to governments. Do you know some specific details of some of these works, any of those? Some. Uh, there is one or yes, two? Yes, important fossils and also uh, Buddhist artifacts. Wow. And so uh, I understand that my counterpart at the uh, the Minister of Culture was extremely happy with the collaboration of the, Chi uh, of the Canadian government. That sounds terrific. Mm -hmm. Chinese are very happy about embracing more of what we used to have. Mm -hmm. We read a lot of rich contents out mm -hmm. of this very specific answer, yeah. Madam Minister. Thank you. Thank you so much. We got the point. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure. Thank you. Okay.